service radio system. Yes, sir, this supports the, the infrastructure of our federal safety radio system, which includes the prime site, the second nine one center, as well as four uh, remote power sites. And it covers uh, all of the radio equipment in the sites. Any questions? I had a question, um, Mr. Chairman. Um, I, I noticed I've seen uh, previous requests or some of the acknowledging that we're going to have to uh, change over our system. Uh, eventually, and I guess Motorola is only good up to 2014. Um, is there any other, I guess, companies you looked at that we possibly could go with now? What we would do once we start moving in that direction uh, is we will certainly go out and look to see what's available in addition to prior going out to the vehicle. Uh, there's some financial advantages in staying with Motorola and we'll be able to reuse a lot of the existing equipment. Uh, but uh, at this time, I would certainly uh, assure you that we will go back to look at uh, several options that make sure we're getting the best, uh, best work in. I appreciate it. I just, I just remember seeing something that you said is there are contractors, but they're going to be discontinuing a particular service in the future. So, uh, the, We're reaching into life on our current radio system. Now, they will continue to support it for a period of time. The biggest problem we're facing right now is just becoming more difficult to find uh, replacement parts, as well as people uh, like in Chamber and Lloyd that actually support our system and monitor our system 24 hours a day. It's been in place so long now until some of the people have not been trained as thoroughly on our system. So those are some of the things we're beginning to see that indicate that we certainly need to start making these options of upgrades. But what this license, what, what this contract will do is just support what we currently have in place for the next year. Any other questions? Our agenda 